I don't understand. Yeah, absolutely right, Steven. After coming back from a 30-point deficit back at March 27th against the Chicago Bulls, the, the whole NBA is just going downhill. I mean, the Miami Heat cannot lose. The only two teams that we thought could beat them were the Spurs and the New York Knicks, both who the Miami Heat dominated. Yeah, 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 I, you're I, absolutely right. I mean, I mean tonight they got the, the Bobcats. Why are we even at this game? Two words, Steven. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. You know we're getting paid, and this is an easy paycheck because there's no way the Bobcats can beat the Heat. And that's where I come in. What's up, everybody? My name is Jay Rain, king of the third round. And I'm trying to change history. You see, we already kind of changed it by letting the Heat beat the Bulls. But why not we change it just a little more, you know? I'm going to try to end the Heat streak which at this point it would be 32 games. I'm going to try to end it with the Bobcats. As you see, I'm trying to get work with Kimba Walker, but dude, Dwayne Wade is just ridiculous. And, and dog, like, Hall of Fame? Cheese? You think it's cheese? Look at this nonsense. It's even more cheese when you're on a crappy team with crappy players. No disrespect to the Bobcats, but come on, let's be real, people. <laughs> team kind of sucks. But, hey, you know, I... That's how it is, though. But you see, I'm trying to get the best out of it. You know what I'm saying? My boy, Kimball Walker, get my step back on. So you got to you gotta cheese the computer with every breathing moment that you possibly can. Because it's, it's, they're going to come few and far in between as Dwayne Wade continues to tear me up. And look at look, look at LeBron, dog. What, 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 is, what is wrong with the He, the guy is ridiculous as Ray Allen and the foul. Gets the and one. I'm not showing your free throw, fool. Don't you know we got time constraints? But you see, I'm trying to get my cook on with with uh, with Kimball Walker. Because, you know, there's only so much cheese I can take as a man. You can't just take too much cheese without just letting it happen. Like, as right there. Dwayne Wade with magical footwork. It's, it's, it's just it's so ridiculous, dog. And once again, Dwayne Wade been killing me this entire game. And, oh. Uh, I'm making rookie mistakes with Kimball Walker, leading the dunks, and I'm losing my focus. Y'all, I got to focus going into the fourth. I'll kick it to some real commentators because this I got to focus to beat the Heat, man. Welcome back to tonight's matchup. I'm Bob with my co-host, Stephen J. Smith, and just like we said, uh, the Heat are pretty much dominating. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have I ever been wrong? I mean, come on. Wait, wait, who was that over there? Wait, what, what are you talking about? Look right there, right under the, the tunnel. Ask Chris Boss gets the bucket. I do see somebody. It, it, Wait, that no. can't be. No. Oh, my God. It's, it's, oh it's, my it's God. Michael Jordan. What, what is going on? What is going on? I don't know. Michael Jordan has energized the team. Tyrus Thomas gets the steal. Gets the jam. This man has not stepped on the NBA floor since 2005. What? I just, I'm, I'm baffled. Fade away? Yes! Michael Jordan getting right back to business in his NBA return. LeBron puts up a bad shot and the ball's back in Jordan's hand. He stops, he pumps, yes! Mama, excuse my language, but what the fuck is happening? Jordan backing down again in a double team fadeaway. It's good! Isn't this against the rules or something? Like, like what happened to what? What is going on, Michael, again? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Everything I know about basketball. Everything on basketball has been broken. It's all been broken. Jordan gets the assist. What a comeback. This is amazing. Amazing. What are you talking about? How is this even allowed? How, how, what is happening? To game tied up. Michael Jordan versus Dwayne Wade. He takes him to the hole. Layup. Good. Michael Jordan has taken the lead. Dwayne Wade, please. Put a stop to this madness. He puts it up. Misses the layup. The Charlotte Bobcats have ended the streak. Feel the power of Capri Sun. What does that even mean? Le LeBron is just as confused as I am. My drawers have been soaked in excitement. Good night from Charlotte, ladies and gentlemen.
with the playoffs slowly approaching, it had me thinking about my favorite playoff series of all time. Now we're going to go back to 2007, where the number one seed Dallas Mavericks are going to go against number eight seed Golden State Warriors. Now the Dallas Mavericks came into this playoff series with the regular season record of 67 and 15, one of the best records of all time. Not to mention that they had the MVP of that season, Dirk, on their team. But the Golden State Warriors came into the series barely making it to the playoffs with a 42 and 40 record. Many people, even sports analysts, picked the Mavs not to only get out of this first round, but to go all the way back to the finals and win. What a lot of people didn't know or even overlooked is that the Warriors have been dominating the Mavs all through the regular season, beating them all five of the times they met. Now, if you think about the record, 67 and 16. If they beat them all times that they met, that means the Warriors account for almost a third of the Mavericks' loss this season. So you can probably guess that the Warriors had no fear in their eyes as they went into this series. This is the Warriors' first time making it to the playoffs in 13 seasons, 13 full seasons. So not only were the players happy and excited to be in the playoffs, but the fans were too. Imagine 13 years without seeing your team in the playoffs. That's a long time. So as the Dallas Mavericks came into the Oracle Center for Game 3 after splitting the first two games at home, you can probably imagine how the fans were. Man, I swear it was all go everything before Trinidad James. I remember watching this series and not being able to find someone without that gold shirt with the slogan, We Believe. Like, we believe that we can beat this Dallas team. We believe that we can go all the way. This is the first time I've ever seen fans like this. They were there for 100% of the game. They cheered at every shot as if it was a game winner. They booed at every bad play. And they even had some great fan signs. But the Warriors roster, they used this crowd as like fuel. And they went on to win game three and game four at home. Now up 3-1, you could probably guess how this story ends. The Warriors became the first eight seed to defeat the number one seed in a seven game series. Back in 1999, the Nuggets beat their opponent in a best of five game series, but the Warriors were the first to do a best out of seven. But the Mavs didn't want to go out without a fight, so in game five back in Dallas, they barely edged out a victory against the Warriors, something that took out a lot of them. Because in game six, when they went back to the Oracle Center, they came out straight flat. Dirk came out and shot two for 15 with eight points. So you could probably imagine game six was the end of Dallas's run. Steven Jackson came out and played like a madman after it was all done. The Warriors had already won by 25 points. The Warriors were eventually eliminated in round two against the Utah Jazz in the five game series, but it doesn't matter. Just that first round performance is enough to have that team go down in history. Now my question to you is, could this happen today? I know this series is just six years ago, but the league has changed so much since then. Could this happen today? I mean, we see now in the playoff series, teams having whiteouts, blackouts, redouts, whatever their team logo color is. The fans are always into it. So really, is their team hungrier than this Warriors team was? Is their team so hungry that they can beat Miami or the Spurs or the Thunder in the seven game series? I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait to the playoffs and see. As you can probably guess, I downloaded these teams from 2K Share on 2K13. When I saw them up there, I was like, I definitely have to do this, man. This is probably my favorite series of all time. And uh, these teams are great. I mean, both teams have great players in their prime. The Warriors have Baron Davis in their prime. Like, Baron Davis in his prime was just unstoppable. Steven Jackson's prime, like, it was just a lot of great players. Al Harrington on here was just a monster. And the Mavericks too, this is MVP Dirk, so you know he's just getting off. I mean, they have Jerry Stackhouse, who isn't a 38-year-old bench player anymore. Like, this is him when he was younger and was a starter and was just putting up numbers. So when I saw this on the foul shot, I couldn't help but to download it, and um, I had a lot of fun with it. And what a lot of people don't know is that I based my My Career Player King Jerry around the play style of Baron Davis. So when I downloaded this and saw that we share some signature skills, I was pretty happy. This has been the King of the Fourth, and I'm out. Peace.